Hi. Hi. All right. So tell us how the you kicked off the vagina monologues. How do you think it went? Uh, this is the fifth time I've done it, so I think I could say I'm a vagina veteran, so VV. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's always a wonderful, enlightening, impressive, exhilarating, fun, and scary experience because um, you know the cast is always different yeah. each year to year. It's, it would be fantastically miraculous if we could get, compile the same actresses year after year. But because it's different, you have nif uh, new different kind of energies and expectations and stress levels and. Um, it's really a blast, and uh, I just hope for one day that there will be a penis equivalent that uh, men will be able to talk about the strength, the power, the inadequacies of their genitalia. So, uh, it's, so it's, penis mon monologues, that's what we're going to... You know what, but penis monologues, I don't think that it's kind, kind of an oxymoron because many men think of their penis as a separate entity, so <laughs> it would be a penis dialogues, I would imagine, yeah. And how do you think Tia did, and how were her moans? Oh my god, that is the killer piece and uh, it always comes near the end of the show and she did, um, for lack of a better word, a kick-ass version of it and uh, she's um, uh, simultaneously fulfilled and um, over-fulfilled the <laughs> expectations, the excitations of many men and women in the audience as well, yeah. This is your fifth time. What, what did you like about this experience? How was it different? What, what you know, because obviously it's a different each time. Like, what do you think made it this different this time? It's, it's just the cast of women. It's, it's the cast of women who get to participate or who are asked to participate. Many of them are not performers. So they are community activists or people who are important to the community in the behind the scenes kind of the way. And it's exciting to see you know them take the microphone and say these bad words. But uh, it's, it's, it's a testament to how empowering it is to, to tell stories that are personal, that are important, and are that, mean, uh, that are meaningful to a lot of women. And and a lot of families. And don't tell people where they can go check it check it out. Vagina monologues? Oh my God! Well, they they missed our performance, our live performance. I'm not sure if it's on tape. I I don't think it's on tape or anything. But okay, that's what I was asking. They they're not gonna have a DVD or anything. But no, 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 no DVD. But for next year, the V Day or Vagina Monologue season is traditionally held from February 14th to the end of April. So a lot of community organizations, theaters, schools, and um, other nonprofit orgs uh, will will be able to do it. So look out for 2011. Okay, well, perfect. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome very much. Thank, Thank you for having me.